In 2008, a group of 26 households were relocated from Mayana village as their homes were prone to flooding, while those at Kambo decided to join their colleagues to Likwaterera. The households were provided with five plows to use in cultivating their mahangu fields. However, they later complained that the plows were not useful as they did not own livestock. It is against that background that 10 oxen were bought and delivered to them for use to plow their mahangu fields. Some of the Sun people will also be taken to the Mashari Agricultural Development Institute where they will be trained on how to use animal draft power machines to plow their fields. Deputy Prime Minister Mark Hausiku reiterated that government plans are implemented step by step and the promise has now been fulfilled. At Mashare, you are going to be taught how to plow, use oxen and planting. The reason we are doing this is because I have seen many people who received training at Mashare on crop production. Their yield is totally different from those still practicing the traditional cultivation methods. Because they know how to sow seeds better and weeding and all other skills. You are here as one family now and we want all of you to grow at the same level. Meanwhile, a borehole that will provide the area with water has already been drilled by the Directorate of Water Supply in the Ministry of Agriculture, Water and Forestry. Its director, Moses Mpareke, noted that water samples have been sent for laboratory analysis to determine if it is fit for human consumption. He is, however, hopeful that by next month, a company that will be awarded the tender to install the borehole should be on the ground to do the work. After the installation work, the community will then be trained in vegetable gardening to be able to produce their own vegetables.